So as you can see, the fan is not turning. But if I spin it, give it a spin, it's going to start going. So that means our problem comes from this guy. As you can see, it's all bloated up. So we're going to go ahead and replace that. So after uh, shutting down the breaker, uh, make sure you disconnect all the wires and check to make sure because you have the common, you have the fan, and you have the other guy that feeds the, uh, the actual compressor. So this is basically to kickstart the, uh, both of the devices. So both of them are theoretically now not working. They're not starting at all. So by removing those, these two are the kickstart that basically gets the uh, the uh, both of them turning so if you can't uh, get anything out of that guy well that's what happens nothing works so we're gonna go ahead and remove that and as you can see this thing is all bloated up at the top and theoretically it should be flat like that like even embedded like encaved inside so we're gonna go ahead get a replacement part change that and we should be good to go okay so now uh, I got a replacement capacitor uh, yeah it's not new but uh, it's gonna do the trick because uh, the thing that's important is that you need to follow the microfarad uh, specs so uh, 5 microfarad was the uh, like basically the one that gives the power for the fan and the other one had 30 microfarad that was for um, the uh, compressor so now that one is 35 and you have to make sure the voltage is fit, uh, fits uh, the actual one you had so 360 volt was uh, like the maximum you can go so basically uh, the only thing that differs from my original one is the 35 so mine was 30 so it's not, it's not a biggie so we're gonna put that in and we're gonna jump start that uh, that, that thing so as I said before the one that has all the prongs on top is the common so we're gonna connect the common to it and then after you're gonna reconnect your fan on the fan so that one is the compressor here and this one is the fan the compressor by the way it's written Hern on top H-E-R-N okay the other one C it is written C on this one, that's for the common, and this one is fan. So, Hern, common, fan. Okay? So, I'm gonna screw that, that in. There we go. And then here in the corner, that's one, one thing you need to know this is a timer. So, basically, it's connected with the, uh, the thermostat. So what it does, it basically delays the start a little bit. And that's uh, so that you can uh, basically power up the unit uh, with uh, full power, like a full uh, 220, uh, before actually kicking in the, uh, the system on. So it gives it a little delay like to basically get the, the unit ready. So I'm going to go turn on the, uh, the, uh, the power back on, and uh, we'll try that on. And voila, we have it going. Compressing is running. Like a charm. Look at that. So that's it. So before anything, before calling anyone, make sure you check this guy. This guy is the bad boy here. So theoretically, if I were to get a company to come around, it would have cost me around, I would say, roughly $150 for the call and figure out that it was that and change the part. So uh, that's it, my friends. Have fun.